Good morning, folks. We've got large umbral magnetic fields on the Earth facing half of the sun, but the sunspots are succumbing to the Earth facing solar quiet. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com. 400 years ago, the sun appeared to shut down sunspot activity in the Earth facing position. The Maunders put it in their book and suggested Earth kills sunspots. It's happening again now, but for the first time since the last grand minimum. Since 2011, the Earth facing sunspots have taken a lion's share of quiet and decay while the western limb, departing, has taken the lion's share of eruptive behavior. You can Google Earth-facing solar quiet, look for one of my videos with more detail. Right now, the flaring potential has hit the floor along with the actual X-ray production. Primary concern, best guess, would be for that central dark filament to erupt, but it would need the sunspot's help to do so. The solar wind event discussed yesterday is over. Purple spikes are the cosmic ray hits we often see during phi angle variability. The phi angle variability is the blue jumping around up top. It is a known glitch on this satellite since month number one and geospace is quieting. The storm system that hit the U.S. all week is finally moving out. This was in Virginia last night as the system is now making its way towards the Atlantic. Top alert for tonight surrounds Italy. Stuck low could drive flash flooding and perhaps even a tornado there in the strong outer band. We're going back in time to the great September 2017 solar flares. We know that luckily they were more Mars directed than Earth directed and we're getting the details on an unprecedented 10 day radio blackout at the red planet during the event, confirming what everyone who was here watching it already knows. Earth is lucky that didn't come our way. Up next, we are looking at confirmation of the solar forcing of precipitation in the United States. These effects appear to particularly affect the west and central states in summer and the midwest and northeast in winter. It is great to see this study finally come back to the states after about a hundred straight papers out of China and India, even though they were saying the same thing. Up next, many people don't know that the Earth's length of the day, aka its rotation speed, has glitches mostly unnoticed and without much practical effect on the planet's biosphere, but in confirming the solar control over these glitches, we recall that solar storms and geomagnetic jerks are the only two causes of the biggest glitches. And so what happens during the greatest of all solar blasts, where induction may reach the core and pull both triggers at the same time? It took us 23 episodes to fully answer that question, Earth Catastrophe Cycle, linked for you below, and if you haven't seen it, Prepare for a bit of a roller coaster of confirmation, debunking, clarification, evidence, and the next end of the world. It is Mother's Day in the U.S., and the mother of my two children is also the mother of Space Weather News, us. Without her, we would still just be a YouTube channel, but with her on board, we have been able to have websites, the Mobile Observatory Project, the annual conferences, and the student sessions that go with them, the books, the app, the very presence of an organization at all. Happy Mother's Day to our CEO, my wife, Catherine. That makes her my boss twice, doesn't it? Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Book deal still ongoing at otf.sales.com. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.